everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 3, how to add 3D printers into Toolbox Pro. Before jumping into the system operation, let's learn about the type of the printers that Cheetobox Pro can work with. Currently, Cheetobox Pro can identify the printer's type directly, like Apex E10 5K, Apex X10 5K, Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, etc. And some printer types depend on plugins to work with. If you want to learn more, you also can contact our technical support on cheetobox.com. Okay, let's get started. There are two ways to add printers in Cheetobox Pro. Firstly, here you can find printers column at the bottom of the display window. You can easily add or delete your machines by clicking the add button. Also, you can find the option on the menu bar here. So, it's really easy to add a printer. You just need to click the button there. A small window will pop up and there's a list that shows all the printers that can work with Cheetobox Pro, plus profiles and thickness options. The printer list here, you can see that Cheetos Pro now supports most of the popular printers available on the market. So you click that little arrow that pops the different printers of each brand, double click it. It also shows the picture of it, which is pretty handy. You can switch it by sliding to the left or right, simple and easy. For the profile setting, it regarding to the success rate and the quality of the model printing. It also related to the printer itself and the material you're gonna use. This is a crucial part as the run setting could cause machinery damage and material waste. It is pretty important that set a proper parameter for your model. Profile setting refers to your model slice. Compared to our basic version, Cheetobox Pro can easily set your profile by using this section. This is a shortcut for you to set your printing parameter rapidly. Also, we mentioned this section in lesson 1. The parameter setting contains four parts. They are resin, print, g-code, and advanced. We will talk about this in another lesson with detailed instruction. So stay tuned. At last, about the thickness setting. 0.05 is the system default setting, but we can also change the setting based on actual demand. Generally, the thicker you choose probably will affect the printing performance. Also, it will decide the time of your model slicing. Same model, more layers means longer time to produce. That is totally up to you. Hit the apply button, then it's done. Or you can cancel it at any time. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Cheetobox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we're still updating new functions, waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.